Hello guys, it is that Panda Guy. I'm here again with another video, and today we're going to be looking at some Dark Seal combat. It's going to be a lot of base swarms and whatnot, and the reports are disgusting. I swear, it's like half of this video. But yeah, I do hope you guys enjoy, and let's get into it. So in this video, I'll be talking about some stuff. I do want to also explain the um, stuff I figured out about the injure, like heavily wounded slash lightly wounded change. You know, obviously that comes with Dark Seal because for defenders, it's very advantageous and it just makes it way easier to defend and take really favorable trades and it makes it super hard for attackers. So you have to have some real ball and gall to actually go crazy in this event. But yeah, I will we'll be talking about that. So I, I first will start by explaining um, the heavily wounded slash like what heavily wounded is compared to lightly wounded because I think some people, you know, most people probably know, but some people probably don't know. So I want to just talk about that. Okay, so heavily wounded are obviously troops that go to your hospital. Once you get those heavily wounded, those are out of commission for good. They're in your hospital, and until you heal them, you cannot use them again, obviously. And lightly wounded are also troops, and you'll see them in reports uh, very often, but they're troops that are also put out of commission in the said combat. So if you're getting attacked and you have, let's say, 1,000 uh, lightly wounded, those are not going to be in your fight, right? But you can put those back into battle, by using someone like Tom or using someone like Peterson where they heal those lightly wounded troops and they throw them back into combat and you can keep cycling those troops as long as your base obviously doesn't burn or anything and and your healers you know obviously got a good enough heal so that being said you know they are able to get back in battle but they aren't actively in battle until they're healed with like a skill or something Okay, so I was looking at a defensive report with reinforcements, and basically, usually it's a 50% um, dead, 50% injury uh, for reinforcements, right? And the reinforcements had like one, I'll give you guys an example. It had like 1.5k deads, and then it would have 500 injuries, right? Heavily wounded, and then the rest were lightly wounded. So that meant that as a defender, you were taking like one third of the actual normal um heavily wounded that you normally would take and that made a direct like insane difference because not only are you getting a better ratio on your trades and stuff like um but also since those are lightly wounded if you're using like a healer or something and you're able to keep putting those troops into battle and let's say you're taking a rally because i actually saw this it rather lasted like 30 minutes um at the end of uh, this event they were basically using healers, so no matter what, if like they started at, let's say, 3 million troops, normally you could melt a base down fast enough to where the point it's not able to heal, obviously, all those troops, because a lot are getting heavily wounded, and you're not obviously healing all the lightly wounded generally. But in this case, you would maybe drop, let's say, um, 100k troops, right, in your hospital after 5 minutes, or this is just an example, right? And normally where you would have a lot of heavily wounded, or sorry, lightly wounded out of commission, and those heavily wounded obviously are permanently out, those lightly wounded would pop back in your base. So instead of being maybe at 2 million troops after so and so minutes, you're still at like 2.9 million troops because they aren't able to actually get, you know, get you down without swarming or something. I also want to mention there, I think I said it in little text, but HK had for, had his like, um his main heroes in Metro, and he was taking that rally with like Tom and Leon, like any swapped it a ray grow but dude these trades could have been so much better they were still disgusting the swarms were absolutely monstrous and as reinforcements these are probably the best best trades you could probably take you know even if you're getting like a few thousand dead or you're getting i don't know ten thousand dead you're probably killing vastly more just tier six than you're losing especially if you're a tier four and tier five player this is like the best way to get really good kills especially when you're like reinforcing whales getting swarmed like this and the trades are just so good like i i couldn't get better trades on a tower fight i couldn't get better trades on um you know the field this is like the best situation to be in so honestly getting swarmed felt nice and i kept trying to bait and only a few times they bit the bait i think they swore my base like you know, two, three times on Pandy, I had, like, gotten swarmed a bit. It was, it was fun, you know, I like getting swarmed. I had to bait Battle Fury, but the thing is, when you're, like, I, f I feel the thing is, I, you know, normally in, let's say, Island Raid, I wouldn't be willing to fresh Battle Fury and, like, sit in a swarm. Because after, I'd say, four minutes, right, I could maybe get 800k in my hospital. But in this case, I would maybe get 400k in a, the full Battle Fury, you know, 
I don't know, 15 minutes, right? Let's say they keep re-engaging with my base, trying to completely zero me. Because the thing is, by the time my base burns, I maybe got 100k in my hospital from getting reinforcements properly, and they're taking forever to melt me down. So just in general, it's so good. The trades are insane. And I feel that I I feel, of course, like a lot of people's criticism for Dark Seal is very, like, valid, right? But I feel that it makes it really good as a defender. So even if you are smaller or you're, like, let's say um, you're a low spender and maybe you get a 70 million, you can take a, I I would say you could take a sore maybe from, like, whales like these. Maybe you need reinforcements that trade positive. But either way, I think that it's just really good and honestly makes your bases way less vulnerable and that would explain honestly why i would like online swarm people and the trades were either mediocre or i was trading negative on bases that i wouldn't expect to trade a negative on right like a a 60 million or a 70 million guy obviously they are still tough bases but normally i would probably trade positive on a swarm like that especially with like you know two or three people pounding on the base it just it seemed it seemed confusing to me but (laughs) it makes sense you know But yeah, now I'm getting swarmed over here. I'm getting beat on and all it took was porting in. I didn't even have to get Battle Fury this time. It was nice and I was hungry to eat some marches. I also want to note that I noticed like some hero combos like in my my case here you know I was using Peterson and Lewis and I still don't know if I would use Peterson and Lewis like I saw um near the end of the event someone using Peterson and Tom and that was for a rally right so for a rally I think that was more fair since you wanted to maximize your healing make sure all your troops were like all your lightly wounded were getting put back in your base and you were able to endure as long as possible with as many troops as possible because obviously the more troops you have the more positive you're going to trade that's basically how it is so if you have your three million troops in your base for the full duration of 30 minutes versus two million you know obviously you're gonna be trading better compared to maybe dropping to 1.5 million troops 10 minutes in and you already have a troop just disposition so just in general i don't know if like a swarm it would have been more favorable to use tom and try to keep my wall up as long as possible but Lewis was also good for damage. I will say I noticed some people, like for example, Nam or even um, Dark Scar, they had Lewis as their captain. And nor- in, a- in some situations, I see this being uh, working, but I honestly would only do it in controlled situations where I feel like maybe it's a rally that I'm trying to melt. And this would only be an island raid because I feel that you melt way faster, obviously, with Lewis as your captain. And you want to you want to have an endurance fight with, um, you know, if you're doing something like this, right? Like you want your wall to be at max max health as much as possible so i feel like peterson leading was definitely the right choice you know or tom or just something more tanky infantry wise but yeah either way this was pretty nice the reports dude i was looking forward to these t6 kills all right i had alts reinforcing me i had boon members reinforcing me we were going crazy okay we were going crazy and yeah we got disgusting amount of kills man uh that being said i'm kind of running out of stuff to talk about man i feel like this this video is going to be a lot of swarms and reports i tried to make sure a lot of the the battle footage the swarming footage was like three or four times speed sometimes faster and i didn't want to put this in two videos i don't like i don't like overdoing it you know i feel like it's kind of annoying you know especially as you as viewers i don't know you guys tell me if you would have preferred for me to split this into two videos you know kind of uh edgy one you know what i mean <laughs> but but yeah that being said i don't know why some of these people swarm like you would see um i've actually seen reports from this other guy before but um i think it was xrp or something i you guys saw him right there so like flying by way too pa- fast but like i've seen this dude swarm towers i've seen him swarm bases in the past and i feel like the trades are always disgusting i don't i don't know man like i don't know why but yeah uh this was disgusting i feel that even like sending a rally against somebody is so painful and just so hard in this event you know especially against whales like this you got you got hk over here he has five million troops man and probably actually less at this point you know he had dropped a lot and he probably had some reinforcements but yeah the dude is a freaking beast he's loaded with troops and people like i feel that no matter what getting deads reinforcing something like this is so worth it Some people rather kill their troops than get injuries, but I feel like when it gets to the point where you're trading like um, maybe 1 to 10 or 1 to 20, it's honestly not worth it, you know, especially when I I feel like healing at that point is so better, so much better. Like even, I don't know, man, I'm not much for killing my troops off like that either. Like uh, I rather heal and that's me personally, you know, um, 
I feel that training troops back is a pain, but I guess for whales it might be easier. I don't know. But even then, like, killing troops like this is very inefficient. Like, you got, you're losing almost 200k for, like, 10k troops, you know? And only, like, oh, just that report right there, only 5k were dead. And that's probably, like, tier 4 or tier 5, you know? It's just, it just doesn't seem that worth it to me. Like I said, whales probably don't care so much. But I don't know, man. I, I feel that I'm I'm in it to trade well. You know, every time I take fights, I try to only take fights that I know I'm going to trade well in. You know, maybe that's just my mindset. Maybe it's like, uh, <laughs> maybe it's, maybe, I don't know, guys. I don't know. You guys tell me how, what you guys think because I, I, I can't, I can't take fights like that. I can't go whale, whale mode on a field, for example. I can't jump in a murder ball by myself unless, for example, it's a bunch of tier five players or a bunch of tier four players who I know are going to swarm me down and I'm going to get easy trades on. It just seems crazy to me. Also, Lewis right here, man. Lewis, I don't know, man. I feel like it melts too fast and I feel the trades just become terrible if you're melting that fast and yeah another swarm okay we're getting we're getting like swarm after swarm guys this is 20 minutes of swarming this is sped up footage i am i swear guys this this video is gonna drain me okay i'm trying i'm trying to i'm trying to talk i still wonder if in a swarm like this if like peterson and tom would be better i know like i said lewis was good for damage and stuff and obviously he does buff more you know he buffs uh range troops as well so I don't know, man. You you guys tell me your thoughts if you guys think that Tom would be better. Because, like I said, I feel that keeping your wall at max capacity is the best here. If you can, um, you know, keep it in green for, like, 20 seconds longer, 30, even a minute longer, you're going to be taking, obviously, better trades. You know, if you're able to just heal much faster, you got 3 million troops on your wall longer. Once you get down to, for example, 1 million troops, these guys are obviously going to be taking way better trades than if they were swarming in 3 million troops at the peak. So, you know, when you're when you're at peak combat, you're going to be trading better. That's why I try to shield when I get to, like, red health or something. Um, I think for whales, maybe it's different. Let's say you're uh, 400 million, right? Obviously, let's say you have 20 million troops. Even if you drop 20 to 25% of your wall health, you're still going to have like 5 million troops in your actual base, right? Whereas if you only have 3 million troops, if you have 25% of your wall health left, you're under a million at that point, you know? And obviously, I don't know, it's different for the size you're at, but once you get to a certain like health on your wall and of course in this case it's a bit different since you're getting like 1 million plus reinforcements but like i was saying you know i i think you got to be really mindful of that you know once you drop too low you got you got to know what you're doing guys you know you got to you got to know when to shield when to back out and i'm not trying to take too big of a hospital bill obviously like i said i think you know only getting like 100k injured for minutes of swarming and taking i don't know like 1k for 5k troops that's really good value so it's good to go for long, but I still feel that once you get that low, you're going to start trading negative or it's just going to going to get milked. But obviously, there's still the, 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 the ratio on the heavily wounded to lightly wounded. So I don't know how that would actually work out or if I would if I should, you know, should have milked some more in those trades and just let them hit me in red because I feel that they're going to pull off before you even burn because all these people want to keep swarming. They want to make sure that you're um dropping as fast as possible and i don't know if these guys just don't know or if they just don't care but obviously zeroing someone online like a uh, hundred mil plus is way harder in this situation especially if they're getting filled with reinforcements because like i said in my case i i literally took a swarm for i would say five plus minutes maybe less i might be exaggerating maybe three minutes maybe but but it was like a hundred k my hospital where i like i said normally that would be hundreds of thousands and it just makes it so easy and in my case, if I was in a bad situation, it's not like I couldn't just send out my troops and hide them, you know, and just let my base burn. Because all I'd be losing is a few million resources. You know, what is the harm in that? Yeah, and then Panda Guy over here getting smacked as well. You know, Envy just not caring, throwing a, throwing a few million troops into the gutter, you know, just crazed lunatics right here i did tell dark scar that they needed to uh, swap out their garrison captains and they did that thankfully i'm not sure if they even have peterson because you know i would assume they'd be using peterson over tom there and that does suck if they don't have it i think the devs should eventually add it to daily booster like i get maybe the concern about too many people having peterson but i also find it to be unlucky if you're just 
you know, you're stuck with your whole play period without these type of heroes, right? And then you have these other heroes. They already added to Daily Booster. So it's like at this point in the game is, you know, maybe they're trying to make sure that everybody's not overpowered or something. And, you know, I can see both sides of it. But I think it still sucks for people who aren't able to obtain Peterson. You know, maybe they'll end up unlo- letting you unlock him in the future. That's going to really depend, you know. <laughs> and Nam again. Okay, so this was also another situation. He was using Lewis on his wall. Dude's a maniac. You know, maybe he wasn't thinking about it. Or maybe maybe, maybe I'm just stupid. You know, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I'm just speculating too much and I'm looking too far into things. I feel like I think a lot on this type of stuff, though. And it just gets my brain twirling a bit. And I... You know, it interests me. You know, it makes my makes my brain like I said twirl. I pour in here shortly, by the way, and I wanted to bait some hits. I got Battle Fury or whatever, and or I didn't actually get it right away because they swarm me, and I shielded the first time because my wall hit red, and then I instantly scouted like a march to try to pop my shield and keep going longer because obviously, you know, I'm kill hungry guys. You know, I. I want those kills way too much. But I was kill hungry. I got in Battle Fury. And obviously, we had a lot of bases around us. This was the enemy region. And, you know, people poured it in trying to get some kills as well, reinforcing. Also, just makes the trades better for me because, you know, if I have 2 million troops in my base, good. But if I have 3 million troops in my base, my troops are obviously going to be probably trading better. And, yeah, I think I think he saw it was the weaker target and he swapped over to me shortly. You know, he's... I was, I was I was hoping that I'd I'd look like a golden golden egg over here. So also sorry guys if you hear my keys in my lap right now. But uh yeah. And I did take a swarm for a bit longer after I popped my shield and I think that Nom or somebody made them pull off my base. I, I actually was gonna burn here, but you know, I never I never burnt through this event, you know. I always shield. Maybe it's um just the trade thing, or maybe I just don't want to lose a few million resources because I'm a freaking goblin. But yeah, um, uh, guys, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm just bluttering. I got five minutes left of this video. Okay, so Dark Scar being a maniac as well. By the way, just taking these swarms. I don't even think he had Battle F- Fury or anything. You know, just milking. Ugh. I swear these reports are always nice to watch, though. It's always nice to witness. But now it's my turn, and I actually had more people freaking come down for me, you know, that nobody loved Dark Scar like they love me, because everybody wanted a freaking piece of the meat, because, guys, look at these guys, come and check me out. They got more people who are going to come and swarm with them with Envy, and I will say, obviously, it's better to have, like, 10 people, or, like, 10 marches swarming instead of 5, but even then, it's just so hard to trade positive here that... Even as, like, a mega whale, I don't know if I would do this, you know, like, throwing millions of troops away, I feel like it's, like, oh, let me just burn a few thousand dollars, you know, like, I I don't know, man, like, even if I was rich or a millionaire, I still feel that it'd be hard for me to burn through the, the amount of troops that these guys are willing to burn through for, I mean, like, I would be willing if the trades are good, like I said, but the trades were just too bad, I just, I don't see it, you know? Though in Indy's defense, he was being smart here by recalling his troops and refreshing his marches, you know, right when they got to like red or yellow. I would have I would have actually been refreshing them right when they got halfway because obviously you're going to be trading worse the lower your marches get. And I think he was, I think the problem here is he couldn't refresh his marches fast enough. So trying to keep popping marches, that was just impossible, you know, and they would all just get to red too fast. I also didn't even notice they rallied me. I was just AFKing, let my phone go. And this rally probably popped my butt a little bit, but the the wall trades don't even look that much worse. I think they can't. No, the rally's still up on top of me. I don't know, man. I don't even know what happened with this rally. I wasn't really paying attention that much. I was just being greedy, you know? And then you also notice my wall's trading way worse, by the way. I got to the point where it was like, 4k um on the numbers or even 5k though i will say the numbers are deceiving in this case because even if you're trading one for one now like the like i said the heavily wounded ratio is so much better as a defender that the just the numbers don't even add up anymore you know i feel like you have to do some math for that and i'm not trying to be no brainiac i did enough by figuring out that your like um heavily wounded ratio is kind of cut to like one third of what it normally is right 
And I might honestly be wrong about that, but from everything I saw, looking at the reinforcement reports and seeing like the uh, uh, dead to heavily wounded ratios, and then looking at the lightly wounded, it did kind of make me think that it would be one, you know, one third of it. You know, obviously some people, you know, it's hard to do the math on this type of stuff without looking at that kind of stuff because I don't know if you just looked at a report. Obviously, oh, the report looks way worse. The report looks way better. But how the heck am, am I supposed to know what the like? what what the difference is between a normal report unless like I test it before and after the freaking event and who's trying to kill off a bunch of their troops to test this type of stuff okay um but yeah this this video should be coming to an end soon I feel like I blabbered my butt off but you know I feel like you guys probably enjoyed it and you guys probably were immersed in this video if not you guys suck because I'm 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 freaking awesome okay and I, I'm I was totally right but yeah uh I don't even know. That's that's about it. I think you know. Uh, my wall got red. I was in battle fever, by the way. If you guys can't tell in the top left corner where you see my little battle fury, I was in battle fury because I scouted that march. But I only dropped five million during this whole period. And since my wall is or actually only dropped like three million, I think because I started at one hundred three. I forgot. But since my uh, hospital is you know at eight hundred k plus right now, I can just send out whatever else I had. You know. It's, pretty simple i think that's it to the video though i think the rest of this is going to be reports so i do hope you guys enjoyed and i hope i didn't just talk your heads off but you guys you guys have a good day or night though and i'll see you guys in the next one i appreciate you guys for watching as always as well yeah but peace